You're awake. You lift your heavy eyelids and squint at a world gleaming in sunlight. Dazed and confused, you stumble forward. Where are you? Who are you? And what is this? Your belly rumbles, and the sun seems determined to plunge below the horizon. You're gonna need some food, and perhaps you can live long enough to build some shelter. Hello everyone, and welcome to Bloboverse Devlog number 8. Today, intelligent blobs arrive on the soil of the remastered game. Their trail is still hot. If we're quick enough, we might be able to observe them in their natural habitat. It appears this lonesome blob is traveling. He forages his surroundings for food and water, and sleeps under the leaves he can find. Bloboverse will test his survival skills to their fullest extent as he struggles to stay alive. Perhaps he will scrounge some berries from a bush and snack on a delicious treat. Oh, it seems a few blobs have formed a party. Together, they have far greater chances of survival, especially if they manage to find some prime land for settling. They will remain nomadic until their party grows large enough. It is important that they do, because settling down and building can leave the blobs vulnerable to attack. Nomadic blobs will choose a direction to travel in and continue until they reach the shoreline or find a bountiful area. These blobs are very curious and travel slowly. They will stick together for safety, but that doesn't prevent them from snooping around. When many more blobs come together, they can form a tribe. Once a tribe locates a lush area, they will construct their new settlement. Tribes may travel for some time before actually settling down in any area. Every blob stays on the lookout for good land, and they will alert the tribe once they find it. Only at this point can the tribe settle down. First, blobs mark a spot for the most important building of all, and that is their home. See how they hop in joy? They are sure they found the perfect spot. Notice how the blobs work together to establish a camp. They waste no time. Quickly, they find nearby trees and bushes and begin harvesting them for resources. They will use them to build a frame for their building. Blobs engage in a careful and wonderful dance to advance their building to the next stage. Isn't that just awesome? Once they have built the frame, the blobs must find leaves to cover their hut and provide true shelter. Blobs will help construct the homes of other blobs as well. No blob rests, all blobs work hard. Take a close look at how the items bob on their head as they walk, and how they grab and toss the items with a quick, elegant hop. The items brought to a construction site belong to that building, and they will remain there until they can be used. Would you look at that? See the blobs celebrate once they finish building? That's truly a joyous occasion. They have taken their first baby steps in establishing their future empire. Remember that party of blobs earlier? Let's take a look at how far they traveled. Oh! Soon, they will come upon the tribe to the northeast and join them. This will be an exciting development, bringing the tribe up from six blobs to ten blobs. 
Imagine what that many blobs can do together. Ruthlessly productive and unapologetically efficient. Now, let's take a look at some of the other buildings that you will see the blobs build in the next devlog. And I suggest now is when you head straight to the Discord and make sure to deliver your express and sincere gratitude to our masterful art director, Spicy. Bloboverse truly is shaping up to be quite a masterpiece. So, here we have the shrine where the blobs pray to you, their god, and deliver their requests gratitude, and precious mana. Your power grows with each prayer. In addition, we have a campfire to cook their savory meals and a workbench to craft their sturdy tools. Blobs know what they want and their intelligence will bring them prosperity. Given enough time, the entire world will be theirs. I would like to thank you for sticking through with me for so long. Please comment what you're most excited about. I would love to discuss your thoughts and ideas. In the next devlog, we will look at how blobs can use tools that they craft in the workbench in order to mine stone and chop wood. Blobs will have to make creative and effective use of bone tools. I'm also going to submit this version of Bloboverse for Apple to screen and afterward, we will launch the Bloboverse beta testing program. So stay tuned everyone in the Bloboverse Discord, where I will post further updates. If you're interested to see where the Blob Tribe AI is at so far, you can watch the rest of this video. There's no commentary, only blobs. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.